Natalie from Line.Arrow from the Netherlands and um, today I'm going to make prompt number four of the fall prompt list. It's a collaboration that I'm doing with Peggy from the Paper Bumblebee and it um, involves making a fall autumn collage. So I'm using the Falling Leaves kit. I'm using the kit that is in Peggy's Etsy and this is just a um, a promo sheet so if you still want to join in you can because next saturday will be the winner's drawing so if you have to catch up on all the prompts one two three and make four and and i've seen people already did five so but you still can catch up in a week time you can use the freebies that is that are available in the facebook group also the other freebies the four of them thanksgiving freebie, freebies i think there's also a little bit of Hall halloween in it so um, there's a lot you can use um, and I'm going to see what I'm going to create. I, I did think about it just a little bit. I never made a master board before. Yeah, I made it on the computer probably, uh, designing kits. I'm not sure if I have to take you up just a little. I hope the lighting is okay because um, I had two lights on my desk and they both broke down. I have a new one. one two new ones one is similar to the one i had and i have a new one which well it makes me blind <laughs> so i can't see what's on the screen over here on top so i hope it's okay um this is a piece of carton um carton cardstock we call it carton um and the, i thought well okay, i can make um on the shiny side Put images and then I thought yeah well that's really big <laughs> and I don't have a lot of time to make such a big thing then I thought okay maybe I can do half and then it hit me what if I collage on the um, how do you call it um, canvas paper on the, the this is the I'm not sure if you can see if you compare this is more white and this is more cram and this has the fibers in it so I thought maybe I could collage on this side and leave this as it is. And maybe I can use it to make a little envelope or something of the collage. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I have to pick, pick out some papers. And I am going to video this, but I am going to speed up the process. I'm not going to take you with every step that I'm doing. Otherwise, it will be a very long video for you to see and kind of boring to see me cut out things very slowly. You can see me do it very fast. Uh, I have a lot of freebies that I can use. And this is actually for my own kit. This is really big to use on the collage. So, um, yeah. And maybe I can do it this way. No, I'm going this way. So yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to collage. I never made one before, so this is actually my very, very first time. Um, first, I'm going to lay the base with some neutral papers, and then I'm going to add stuff over there. So enjoy. And if you do want to see it um, on a regular speed, there's a cartwheel. On YouTube and if you click on there you can select the speed mode the video is playing in so you can also slow it down and you can see it in actual um, well the actual time that it that is recorded in and um, yeah that's just a tip for you so you know you also can watch it slowly Okay, I did stitch around um, 
the collage pieces I wanted to stitch, but I forgot and it shows at the back side. So what I'm going to do, uh, I have another sheet of this, um, how do you call it? Canvas paper. And I don't think it's intended to put through your printer, but that's, that's what I use it for. I'm going to stitch this over. First I'm going to sew and then, uh, not stitch, I'm going to... I think it will show through. Okay, maybe I'm not going to. Because it's the inside of an envelope, so what's the biggie? There's no biggie. No, I can leave it. Yay, problem solved. Okay. <laughs> so you see, I'm really prepared. I did something really silly. Um, I'm going to ink and then I'm going to add four images. I did make a picture of this um, collage as it is now. Maybe I can share it in the Facebook group. I'm not sure what the quality is. I didn't put it under my scanner. I just made a picture and I will see how it will look at the end. If it's not okay, it's not okay. But it can be a very good background uh, for you to use. Um, I also have these, but these are very in your face. This one is a recipe for these fruits thing, it's sort of dessert. I like this peach, peach, peach. I like this piece, um, but I want this to be in the junk journal, I think. That I'm making a fall journal, so let me just grab a few things. Okay, I have to close it cut. I'm going to high speed this part too, so just so you know. Okay, I know I kind of cheated <laughs> because this is not a master board, but it's, um, well, you have to not make a master board, but a collage. And I made collages, so I did um, finish the prompt in a proper way, I think. I wanted to use it as an envelope, so that's why I um, pre-folded it and turn it into an envelope thing.
I'm not sure if this will work. Not sure if it, the camera picks uh, up on this, but I'm giving it a little bit of shine here and there. Nothing, nothing special. To make it a little bit more interesting, I'm, I'm, I don't think this is the best collage thing I ever made. To be honest, I did better, um, but yeah, I did enjoy myself. So for me, that's important too. corners I wanted to rub on a little more bold so it's a little bit more framed so yeah I am going to sew the envelope together I don't think this will fit in the journal but I didn't made it to go in the journal to be honest um, I do want to add something, but first let me sew it together and then I'm going to add the thing that I wanted to add. And then I think it's finished. Yeah. The other thing I want to put in are a few eyelets. They are not straight, I know, and I'm not going to try and get them straight. Okay. I don't understand. I these are actually we are memory keepers eyelets. Not all, but this one is. And they don't fit at all in the hole. I don't know why. I think it's weird. But yeah. That seems to be the case. No, I'm mistaken. They are not We Are Memory Keepers. I'm messing up the the eyelet thingy. Okay. Yeah, I really messed up. So, and the only thing I want to add is, where do I have it?
I hope it's enough. I think so. Oh, it's double layered. So yeah, it will be enough. I'm sorry, I'm bumping the camera. And I thought about just wrapping it around and something like this. I don't I don't know really. I didn't think this through and like I said it's not my best project but I did have fun and no, it has to be here okay let me just adjust maybe if I do it like this So this is the back side with the messed up eyelet thingy. Oh. I can take it out, that's a good thing. I can put in a new one. Saved. So this is the, well, the back side, the front side, whatever you want to call it. Front side, if I untie it, it looks like this. It has a collage on it, collage on it, and on the inside, it's a messy stitching envelope. But I do like it, but I want to be sure. These are same length and also secure the oh, why isn't this one So it's taking ages to fix this. 
but it's finally done. I need some glue. So this was it for today. Um, and I have seen some collages in the Facebook group in the challenges already. So yay. <laughs> I really like seeing them. Um, and to be honest, I've seen better one than this one. But I hope you liked it anyway. If you liked the video, maybe you want to give it a thumbs up. You want to leave me a comment, subscribe, like, be a member, join in with the Facebook group and the challenges. Enjoy the freebies, enjoy each other's company over there and be inspired. And I hope to see you next time. Have a good day. Uh, greetings from the Netherlands. Bye bye. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.